Hi. Today we'll be covering the immune system. The first part of the immune system is the innate immune system. That's part of the immune system that works without really having to work too hard. It's stuff that's built in, like your skin. Your skin naturally protects against stuff that wants to get in. And so, because it can't pass through the skin, it can't get in. Another part of the innate immune system is the sweat. In my sweat are enzymes. Enzymes kill bacteria and they try to viruses. Another part of the innate immune system is my mucus. I won't show you that because that's disgusting, but mucus also contains enzymes. So does tears, saliva, and other bodily secretions that we will not talk about. This is the skin. It protects the body against pathogens. It is part of the innate immune system. This is a pathogen. It is a disease-causing particle. Now we will watch how the skin protects the body against pathogens. As you can see, the skin beat the living doo-doo out of the pathogen. A happy day in the body tissues of Brandon. But oh look, it's a pathogen, a disease causing particle. And here's a macrophage, a type of white blood cell that attacks pathogens in body tissues. And it's gonna go try to kill the pathogen. Watch it go. But it failed and it is now dead. Now that the, now that the macrophage has failed, the neutrophil, another type of T cell, will try to kill the pathogen. No! No! Oh, oh. And, oh. and it too has died. And now the pathogen is going to move into the bloodstream because it has killed all the white blood cells. The pathogen moves into the bloodstream. And oh look, it's a monocyte, another type of white blood cell. It starts out immature, but as it moves towards the infection site, it matures. It gets bigger and stronger. And it's chasing down the pathogen. It's chasing it down. And it's attacking it. It killed the pathogen. 